Here we have a polynomial with four terms. Whenever we try to factor a polynomial with even number of terms, for example, four terms, six terms, eight terms, there's a chance that we can factor by grouping. And let me show you how it's done. Here, let's try to group the first term and second term as one family. I'm, I'm going to call it the green family. And let's group the third term and fourth term as another family. And let's call it the yellow family. OK, cool. So now, within the green family, we have two terms. And is there any common factor we can take out within the green family? Well, between x cubed and x squared, we can factor out x squared, right? And what do we have left? Well, let's see, guys. x cubed divided by x squared, we have x, right? How about the second term? Negative 7x squared, after we factor out the x squared, what do we have left? Negative 7, right? OK? Cool. Now, how about the yellow family here? So within the second family right here, first term we have 2x. The second term we have negative 14. OK, so guys, focus on the numbers. Between 2 and 14, what is the common factor? 2. So let's take it out. So let's take out positive 2. OK. So now, let's look at the first term inside the yellow family. So guys, 2x, if we factor out the 2, what do we have left? Just x, right? Now, how about the second term right here inside the family? Negative 14, take out the 2. So negative 14 divided by 2, we have negative 7. OK, guys? So now, I actually want you guys to look at the polynomial as two terms. Here we have the first term. Here we have the second term. Between the two terms, is there any common factor for us to take out? Yes, there is. Who is this guy right here? x minus 7. Who is this guy right here? x minus 7. Same thing, right? So the common factor between the two terms is x minus 7. So we can actually take it out. OK, so now, look. Okay, for the first term right here, after we took out x minus 7, what do we have left? We have x squared left, right? Yeah? Cool. Now, for the second term right here, After we took out x minus 7, what do we have left? Just a 2, positive 2, right? See, positive 2. OK? That's it. So guys, so the answer is x minus 7 and x squared plus 2, right? Then we successfully factor this polynomial as the product of two polynomials, right? OK, good. So guys, you might be wondering now, how did I know to group the first two terms together, the last two terms together? Can I do it another way? Can I, f can I group the first term and the third term and then as one family, and then the second term and fourth term as another family? Let's see. So now let's take another approach. Let's group the first term and the third term as one family x cubed and positive 2x. And now the second term and fourth term as another family. Negative 7x squared and negative 14. OK? And let's see if we're going to get the same answer at the end. OK? Let's see. So now, 
within the first family between x cubed and x, what is the common factor? x, right? So let's take out the x. And what do we have left? x cubed divided by x, we have x squared. And 2x divided by x, we have what? 2, right? Cool. Now, next. For the second family right here, first term, negative 7x squared. Second term, negative 14. Well, because since they are both negative, why don't we factor out the negative? Okay, guys? Now, what do we have left? Well, guys, how about between the number 7 and 14? What is the common factor? 7, right? So we can also take out 7, actually. Okay, and let's see what we have left inside the bracket here. So, guys, first term, negative 7x squared, after we took out negative 7, what do we have left? We have x squared left, right? Now, second term, negative 14, what do we take out? We took out negative 7, so divide by negative 7. So what do we have? Negative, negative cancels out. 14 divided by 7, we have 2. We have positive 2. Okay? Hey, guys. Now, look again. Now here, in this polynomial right now, we have two terms, right? Here is the first term. Here is the second term. Between the two terms, is there any common factor? Yes. What is it? Check this out. What's inside the bracket here? x squared plus 2. For the second term, what's inside the bracket here? x squared plus 2. So x squared plus 2 is common for both terms. We can take it out. So take out x squared plus 2, and what do we have left? So guys, look. First term, after we took out x squared plus 2, what do we have left? Just x, right? Second term, right here, second term. After we took out x squared plus 2, what do we have left? Negative 7, right? There we go, then we're done. So do we get the same answer at the end? x squared plus 2, x squared plus 2. x minus 7, x minus 7. So you get the same answer.